Okay, this is problem number 11, parts A and B. Uh, these are actually very easy problems. So what you want to do here is go to Y1. So you want to go to Y1 and you want to key in this function. Make sure you use correct parentheses. You need to use a parentheses before the sign and then you should have 2 after here and then you just divide by X. Then what you want to do is you want to go to second table set and key in the value of 0.1 and then go to second table and see what the value is and you're going to get 1.987. Do that for each one of these values here. That's all you got to do here and just key in the values and you should get 1.987 and then 1.999 etc etc. Now just double check how many nines you put in because I was just rounding as I go. Um, that's the easiest way to do it. You could also if you're starting to round to 2, if you notice these values are going to 2, then just go to your to your function and key in like the sine of 2 times 0 0.0001 put the parentheses divide by the same value and then put that value into the t into your table you can tell right now that as I go to the right side I'm getting closer and closer to 2 as I go this way from the left side I'm getting closer and closer to 2 so the value would be the conjecture would be 2 that would be the limit of this function as basic as x is approaching um, is zero. Um, this is not 11, this is what? Let me just see what number that was. That was 13. Okay, so let me just change that. This is problem 13. Problem 13, you do it exactly the same way. Um, but again, make sure you put these in with extra parentheses. So I just go to Y1, I key in this function here. Um, I go to second table and I start keying in these values here. And I wrote these down. This is approximately what's happening here. And you notice that here, as you're getting closer and closer from the left side, you're going to 1. As you're getting closer and closer to the right side, you're going to 1. So the conjecture is 1. So the limit of this function, as X approaches 0, is going to be 1. Okay, 15. Here it's just a little different. We have the a value. So we're trying to find out what happens. Basically, is the limit of this function here as a goes to 2. And instead of writing this as f of x, the book did, I'll just write it as y1 because that's what you're going to do in your calculator. You're going to go to y1. Again, make sure you use parentheses like this. Just go uh, y1, have x in parentheses, x squared minus 4, close parentheses, divided by in parentheses, x minus 2, close parentheses. Just go to second table uh, and just put in the value of 2.1 and see what you get. Put in 2.01 see what you get. And this is what I did here. So the conjecture is as I get closer and closer to 2, this function is going to 4 from the left side. It's going 4 as I approach from the right side. The conjecture is 4. Okay? And that's it. They're all there is to do this problem.